Hello YouTube, my name is List of Deaths and this is my first commentary about how good Call of Duty is or, you know, several things about the topic of Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty, I feel this new one is, it's alright, you know, I personally did not like, you know, the other Call of Duties I played a little bit, but this one I feel like is pretty good. The last Call of Duty I didn't really like with the thrusters and everything, but this one has the perfect balance between, you know, only able to jump in the air and wall run and slide. The other one you can just burst forward, backwards to the side and everything, and turn everything into what Halo looks like now. But, since this is my first time commentating, I do want to say this. Thank you for watching, the three viewers that are probably watching me, and, um... Take it easy on me, okay? Because I know some of you guys, some of you three viewers are probably critics. Now, you guys are probably writing a paper on me right now like, Alright, he has a speech impediment. Mark 1. Mark 2. The fuck is this dude saying? But I do, like I said, apologize. But right here, I just killed my teammate. And trust me, I'm playing with my friends right now and he was bitching at me. He's like, dude, I was close to a kill streak, man. What the fuck? And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man. And he's like, alright, you know, you're getting deleted. I'm like, what do you mean I'm getting deleted? Next thing you know, bloop. I got deleted. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I'm playing with a group of like, I think we were playing with a full team here actually. And what we were doing was um, we were just wrecking house most of the day. And my KD right now is uh, 1.8, 1.76, something like that. And I my crew rolls with about 1.5 pluses and stuff. And we were just sitting there having a great time. Now, we do have a couple people that have like a 1.2 KD, and that's because they go in there and literally capture and die several times. And they'll just sit there and just die and die and die. And they'll rack up. They'll, they'll be like 10 kills and like 15 deaths. And I know that's not like a 1.0 at all, but, you know, then there's times that they do good. But, you know, they'll be our capturers why we just go in there and sweep up the kills. So, you know, but... With this group, we were just laughing all night about dumb things, just everything. We did not care. Just had a good good time. But um, back to the subject about Call of Duty. This game, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. Why Advanced Warfare, I'd probably give it a 5 out of... No, probably 6 out of 10. And Ghost, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Ghost, in my opinion, was not that great. This, this one, this Zombies, if you guys have not checked out the Zombies, I really... I really suggest that you guys should check this out. Um, now, call, the Call of Duty Zombies in this Call of Duty is really good because they introduce this thing called the Beast or whatever, which changes the whole aspect on zombies. Like, you have to, in order for you to get, like, a pack-a-punch or something, well, not pack-a-punch, like, a double tap, you have to use the Beast or whatever. Now, this Zombies has, like, apparently, like, a few Easter eggs, like, um... I don't know if you ever remember, but the one zombie map where you had to ride in the tank or whatever, um, it was like World War II type of thing. Um, I think, I can't remember what, I think it was Black Ops 2. Yeah, Black Ops 2 zombies. Um, it was like a DLC map. That zombies was great, but I think this zombies tops it. But um, back to um, the clip and everything, I personally thought that this game was alright. You know, I went um, a pretty decent score. It was like 30 six to like 12 or something and you know me personally it's like every time i get to a kill streak or i'm about to get to a kill streak i die so that's the bad part but um this is hardcore uh, domination and uh i play with a bunch of tryhards and you know sometimes when you're playing hardcore you don't realize that your teammates in front of you you accidentally kill them and then you're getting deleted, and then you're wondering what the hell happened, and then next thing you know, you and your friend don't talk for a couple days because he was about to get that 15 kill streak, and then next thing you know, it's game over. But um, I really like this Call of Duty's, uh, you know, hitbox or whatever. You know, where people get hit, they die. You know, maybe not really in core. I'm not really a big core fan. After that day, or should I say this video, um, I used to play core all day, and then I realized that my gun wasn't working, which is the XR2. Um, I have several attachments with it, and I realized I'm like, okay, you know, three days ago, I was able to put people down, and now I'm shooting them, and all of a sudden, they're not dying. So then I hopped on um, hardcore with a bunch of my friends, and then we just started wrecking house and, you know, getting kill streaks and stuff, and I realized that I think hardcore is where I'm going to play, and it's a lot easier when you're playing with teammates, so I do advise that. Um, when you're playing with friends, you know, you can communicate better, which ensures better um you know games for you because you know you know people have this spot taken and then if they die they'll be like hey you know um 
they're coming on this side, and then you can actually set up a defense rather than a random who's probably just going to sit there and not say nothing because you know 80% of the people on Call of Duty never have a like never talk or say a word, and they're just um, probably at a party. You know, but um, on that side note, that this game is probably worth the 60 bucks. Um, I personally didn't buy it. What happened was, is here on a, another video, I'll just post a clip or whatever, and I'll tell you guys how, how to set up a transaction of your Xbox and how to um, set each other's homes. So then you and your friend can get free games depending on who buys them. Um, basically we have it to where if my friend Cheese buys a game, I get it for free. And if I buy a game, then he gets it for free. He ended up buying Call of Duty. And now we've been playing it. We've been playing this, Fallout 4, and, um, Halo 5 not so much. That is a good game though. I give it that. And I will have, um, probably my own commentary on a Halo game talking about that. But... To say a couple things about this Call of Duty, like I said, I like the hitboxes or whatever. I like the versions of guns that they have. The w the one thing that I do wish that happened was the M8 would be lower level because I haven't even tried it out yet. I'm about to reach level 55. So, you know, maybe I could try that out. But I've seen people just pick up that gun and it works better than the XR2. I mean, you would think so because it's higher level. So, there is a couple other guns that... I can actually say that one of my friends has the rocket launcher um, diamond already, the first rocket launcher, and uh, he sat there and he would go in, die, well, actually, no, he would go in there, shoot a rocket, get a kill, and then die right after, and he would do that, and he got um, diamond rocket launchers. Now, he had to, like, kill so many talents and stuff, and he just sat there playing Nuketown all day, and, you know... He's like, man, I hope the other team gets a kill streak. And I'm like, nah, man, that's actually pretty bad. I don't want them to get a kill streak because then that means my deaths are going up. And he's all like, nah, man, I want that because I want to get my diamond. And I'm like, oh, dude, I'm not going to be playing with you right now because uh, I'm trying to actually have a good KD in this game. But um, this Call of Duty I, I like because it doesn't have, you know, it's it's simple. All right, you, you can jump, wall run, and then slide. You know, the other Call of Duty, like I said earlier, you know, you can, you know, go left and right really quickly. And I didn't really like that that much. Plus, I like the maps on this one. The only map I don't like, but um, I did have a really nice clip of getting eight kills in a row. Um, I think it was on screen four, was um, Combine. Now, the on screen four I got with the shotgun, which is overpowered, I can tell you that. And um, it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So... Um, this will probably be the end of my commentary for now. Uh, I will make videos. I'm trying to post about two a day and get my college work done. Um, the next video, if I post another one about Call of Duty, will be about how to uh, do the license transfer thing and about myself. But um, anyways, thank you all for watching, whoever watched. You guys all have a nice day, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, look down. Losing Bravo. Enemy has B. Securing B. Be advised. Hostile care package overhead. Bravo secure. Be advised. Hostile UAV incoming. Friendly UAV inbound. UAV, ready for deployment. Hostile counter UAV above. Radar is down. Care package inbound. Losing B. Enemy took Bravo. Friendly health storm inbound. Care package awaiting orders. In the town, sensors are securing B. Be secure. Execute that traitor now. Losing B. Hailstorm awaiting orders. Rounds nearly over. Keep up the momentum. Hailstorm awaiting orders. UAV inbound. Inbound. Bravo 
locked down. HCXD deployed. 